Good morning. Thank you for coming. Um, after a very exciting night last night for all of us that were here in Las Vegas. Um, anyway, we're really thrilled to have Rodney back. Obviously, made a major impact on our roster for the remainder of the regular season after the trade deadline, huge games in the playoffs, and we're really lucky to have him back and Shea rejoining us and fill in the family room with their beautiful kids. So we'll open it up to questions, okay? Rodney, kind of what went into your decision to choose Portland? Um, it was a lot of, oh, sorry. It was a, a lot of deep thought, you know, um, between me and my family. Um, obviously, my time here has been great. You know, the first couple months getting traded here, uh, the fan base really embraced me, you know, the coaching staff, the players, um, the community, you know, and I, I felt like this was uh, really a place where I wanted to be. Uh, I felt it in my heart, and, um, you know, I just think it was the best decision for me. Roddy, how much did the system – of this team play into your decision. It seemed like the system showcased what you can do as well. Yeah, uh, definitely. You know, uh, throughout the, the playoffs in the regular season, um, getting a chance to play with great players, you know, and great people. They share the ball. Uh, uh, movement offense, you know, I think fits me as well. You know, and, and coach trusted me coming in and being able to score and allow me to play how, you know, how I play. And, um, you know, I think that was big, you know, having a, a coach that's trusting you to be able to, to to be yourself out there on the court. And, you know, every player wants that. So it was, it was a great fit for me. What do you think of the changes that have been made to the roster? Um, you know, first off, you know, um, you know, it's also kind of bittersweet. You know, all the time in this business, you know, you lose really good friends. And these guys will tell you, and the coach staff will tell you, I joked around with those guys all the time, from Chief to Mo to Myers. You know everybody, and um, you know I wish them the best of luck. But you know we got some really talented players. You know um, Ken Bazemore, I think is very underrated. You know I think he's going to be happy to play competitive basketball. Uh, Hassan uh, Whiteside as well. You know I think probably right there is the best rim protector in the league. So um, also even though he's a Carolina guy, you know the rookie <laughs> uh, Nasir, you know uh, who I really like. I really like this game coming out of high school. And you know everybody else is getting better. You know internally, I think it's going to be good for us. Ron, you talked a lot about how you feel like you fit here, and you like the, the vibe in the locker room. But the locker room has changed a lot now. Does that give you any concern, or what makes you think that? No, nah, not at all. I mean, one thing I noticed is that it's good people. You know, and um, you know, it's it's hard to be in this environment and not it it not rub off on you. You know, and I think that was. Uh, it's big, and I know I know these guys from passing. You know, I know they're good people, and you know you'll stick out like a sore thumb if you're not a good person. So you know, um, I'm not worried about that. And we got a lot of great personalities, and it started at the top, particularly with a guy like Dame, Dame and CJ, who are really down to earth guys who really make the locker room fun to be around every single day. And you know, guys are, are feel welcome. You know, just like I did. Um, I think he's uh, I don't know just the right word, but he's just char like charismatic. You know what I mean? Every day he comes into work, he never has an off day as far as his attitude. He's never you know leaning one way or the other. He he wants to win. You know, um, a lot of guys in his position you know care about their their self first, and uh, he always checking up on guys. You know, I remember coming in late night shooting shoot with my wife, and he'd be in there with Anthony. You know, uh, and taking him to the side, you know, whether him texting me, you know, after a tough game, after a good game, saying how important I am to the team. And those are things you don't, it, it's rare, you know, and he's a rare leader in this league. And I think that's why, a big reason why um, Portland has su sustained the success it has because he's, he's leading the way. So it's been good for me and for other guys. Neil, uh, obviously the team didn't have a whole lot of options and free agency to, to add, but can you talk about with the kind of the one you did have, how important? Well, that, <clears throat> pardon me. I mean, that was the linchpin. You know, we did. We had one tool. You know, we had the tax pyramid level, and um, you know, we were really lucky. You know, we had, we had, we worked really well with the guys from CAA, um, Austin Brown. You know, Ty Sullivan and Aaron Mintz. Um, they really wanted what was best for Rodney, not just you know, not just basketball wise, but situationally, a place that he can flourish, a place his family could be happy. 
um, you know, a place that he could hopefully be a part of long term. You know, this isn't you know this isn't a rental. When we when we made the trade, we knew we'd be limited in terms of our ability to to keep him after the trade deadline. But like I said, you know, I think some of the things that Rodney values are what we value in terms of situation, culture, character, and and finding a home. So so that really played into it. And I think you know once we got Rodney, that informed our ability then to shift focus to going and getting a five. Um, you know, we didn't necessarily have the tools with just minimum contracts at that point. We got active in the trade market, and we were, you know, we were very lucky to be involved in another trade that we'll be announcing, you know, later on today. Um, and we continue to build the roster. I, I think, like Rodney said, you know, we've got charismatic leadership. We've got outstanding coaching. Um, we were in the Western Conference Finals. I know sometimes people find that hard to believe, and they, they fail to notice that at times. But, you know, we are, we are the returning one of the teams in the Final Four, and we're in the Conference Finals. And, you know, part of our direction from Jody Allen, who's been an incredible leader for us, driving us every day to get better, was to keep as much of the family together, but also show progress and look to the future and know that, you know, while we had a successful season last year, our work isn't done. And there's, there's places we want to get to that we were going to need to make changes in order to get to. So, um, so like I said, you know, Rodney, Rodney became the linchpin for us because it secured our perimeter in a way where it gave us confidence to shift our focus to the front court. Jerry, you have a lot of changes in the roster coming up in the, in the upcoming season. What's it mean to you to get a veteran back, uh, you know, with all the new guys? Well, getting Rodney, uh, first of all, you know what Rodney was able to do for us last year was wasn't easy. It's it's not easy to come into an established situation where you have, you know, the team is pretty established. It's not like uh, he came into a situation where there was a hole to fill. He came in and he fit in uh, with the team that we had, and he found his way, and obviously had a huge impact on the team. I can't speak to the changes that uh, are upcoming right now, but uh, I think that. Rodney having this is not a free agent signing in my mind because he was uh, he became an integral part of our team throughout the end of the season and the playoffs and um, that gave us some continuity going forward and like Neil said it it allowed us to shift and and try and do the roster what needed to be done but getting him back was uh, w was really exciting for me because going into free agency we didn't know what was going to happen. And to be able to establish Rodney as part of our, our group was was really important. And um, you know everything that Neil and Rodney has said so far, you know, has been has been all spot on. I don't know if I answered your question, but you can ask it again if you want. <laughs> I explored um, other offers. Um, you you got to do your due, due diligence, you know, as a player, you know, just like teams do. Um, but you know, it's what's gonna make me happy. Where can I fit? You know, um, you know, sometimes you you sway with the decision of you know what's gonna satisfy you right away. And um, you know, just talking with my wife alone, a lot of conversations staying up late. You know, it was about long term. You know, where can I find a home in this league? Where can I, you know. Um, be the best player I can be, you know, where my family going to fit, all that played into it, and it always came back before me, you know, every single time. So, you know, um, obviously it's tough me and being, being in my sixth year, you think about, you know, just that deal that's going to change everything. But, you know, it's, it's happiness means a lot to me. Um, I know my family knows that about me. And this is where I want to be. And, you know, whatever I had to do to get, do that, you know, I was willing to do. So is it accurate to say that you turned down more money to – to sign here? Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. And I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. You know, I, I didn't, we didn't have a lot, you know, growing up. So, you know, I'm still making good money, in my opinion. And I know, I know, we, you know, I'm not making dang money. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, for me, you know, I'm doing pretty well. And as long as you're happy, man, that, that goes a long way in the league. You know, you fit, you fit somewhere and um, your family is welcome. You know, that, that goes a long way, and it's going to show on the court, you know, um, how comfortable you are. <laughs> okay, we'll wrap it up there. We'll bring uh, David in just a couple minutes.